Good, good morning, friends. Thank you for joining me today for our Ready, Set, School story time. My name is Miss Irene, and we are going to be learning another letter in the alphabet today. We learned, remember what we learned last week? We learned J for jump, or jam, or jelly. And today, we are going to learn the letter K for kangaroo, or something that you might fly in the sky that we'll talk about in just a second. So, before we get started with our letter, we are going to do our classroom calendar, my friends. So, let's see here. Let's get a tiny bit. There we go. Perfect. So, we'll start with our month like we always do. So, do you know what month it is? We started a new month last week. We're still in that month. It's May. M-A-Y. Three letters. May. It's a pretty fun month. The year is 2021 or 2021 kind of a big big number. The date is all the way down here. The 14th, 14, 14th day of May. The season is spring. It's nice. And it's pretty sunny for me and nice and warm outside. It's pretty lovely. Today is Friday. Yesterday, the day before today, is Thursday, and tomorrow, the day after today, is Saturday. Nice job, friends. All right. So what did we say? We said the letter for today is K. Do you know anything that starts with K? I'm trying to think besides kangaroo. Well, there's one in our book today that I'm going to show you in just a minute. First, I'm going to show you how to write the letter K. So this one's pretty easy, kind of fun, it's all straight lines. So we go big line, little line, little line. That makes a K. Awesome. Same thing. Big line, little line, little line. Big little guy. Pretty cool. All right, friends, maybe some of your names start with K. Maybe if one of you out there is named Cassandra with a K, or Kevin with a K, or Kelsey with a K, maybe. Are there any Kevins or Kelseys or Cassandras out there? Let me know. Say hi. We'd love to say hi to you. All right, friends. Let's see. Our letter for today is K. And the thing in our book that starts with K is... A kite. Kite starts with K. And so, in this story called Blown Away, we're going to see what happens to this penguin and his kite. Alright friends, let's read this story. Wow. A windy day, a brand new kite for Penguin Blue, a maiden flight. This is the first time he's flying this kite. Look at that wind gust coming. What's it going to do? Whoa! The kite's so high. The wind's so strong. It's pulling Penguin Blue along. Save me, Penguins Jeff and Flo. They try to help, but off they blow. Up, up, away. See how they fly. A penguin train up in the sky. Gosh, there's a kite. And one, two, three penguins flying in the sky. That looks kind of dangerous. Don't worry, Wilbur's seen their plight. Oh dear, it seems he's joined the flight. He got stuck too. Now he's flying with them. Blue spies a bear. Oh, help us do. His name is Clive. He's coming too. He tried to help them, but he got stuck with his fishing pole. Silly Clive. Oh, what a fix. Oh my, oh me. The gang is flying out to sea. Hmm, do you think the seagull can help them? Maybe. They swoop, they soar in rain and shine. They zoom straight through clouds eight, clouds one to nine. Look at this, let's count the clouds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine. Past miles of ocean far below, then land ahoy, shouts Penguin Flo. A tiny island, lush and green, a color that they've never seen. The trees look soft. We'll be all right. Hello, jungle. Goodbye, kite. They drop the kite and they fall. How nice, says Blue. A lovely spot. Although, it is a bit too hot. Where did they land? What's this look like? This is a, a word that starts with J, which was our letter last week. Jungle. You remember that? Jeff misses Bomb. Clive wants to go. Oh dear, they can't. They're trapped. Oh no. They landed on an island surrounded by sharks. <laughs> Doesn't seem very safe. Intrepid travelers never fear, because Blue has had a good idea. The boat, some leaves, a vine, and then the wind will blow us home again. One big gust should get them going. Now, who could help? Who's good at blowing? Hmm. What about these trunks we see here? Maybe they could help us out. Whoosh! Pretty strong elephants. They ride each crest and surf each wave. Three cheers for five companions brave. Is it five or is it six? Somebody is playing tricks. One, two, three, four, five. There's a monkey hiding. <laughs> at least the chill of, at last, the chill of home. How nice to feel your feet on solid ice. We like to live on the ice. A windy day, another kite. No thanks, says Blue, no trips tonight. A lesson learned, there's no denying. This penguin wasn't built for flying. Oh, who was taking, who was peeking at it? Little monkey. And now he's flying with the kite. Got a scarf and a hat to warm him up because he's supposed to be in the jungle. Silly monkey. <laughs> now we just have another monkey with a fishing pole. Let's see what happens with them. All right, my friends, we learned about the letter K and we read a silly story about a penguin and a kite. So now we are going to make a craft. This one's pretty cool and rather fun. So I'm going to show you what we need here. So we are going to use some blue paper kind of as our sky and some pink paper. I have pink paper but you can use whatever color paper you'd like. And we're gonna use that to make our kites. So I'm gonna just draw one big diamond shaped here, because that's kind of the shape of a kite. And then I'm gonna cut it out. Now that we've got our kite, I made it a little bit longer on the sides, so it's taller. Okay, so we're going to set that here, and then we're going to add a little bit of extra cool to it. So you're going to cut a strip of paper here, and just a nice rectangle shape. And then we're going to fold that back and forth to make an accordion, or a zigzag paper. back and forth like this and then we are going to glue that to the back of our kite then we'll glue the paper to our background 
and we have a 3D kite that floats and flies in the air. That's pretty cool. Look at that. It's a flying kite. So now you can add some decorations to it. You can maybe draw some... I'm going to draw some lines on my kite here. And you can use different colors too. I think I'm going to make mine a polka dot kite. Spotted kite, kind of like a Dalmatian. And if you want, you can also make, you know, how our kite had like a little string, a little tail to make it fly. You can draw that on your paper. And you've got yourself a 3D kite. That's pretty fun. Fly, kite! <laughs> All right, friends. I hope you had a fun time today with me making our kite craft, learning about the letter K and reading a fun story about a penguin. I will see you next week for another Ready, Set, School story time. But before we go, I want to remind you again, starting June 1st, we are going to be having outside story times on the front lawn of the library. We will be doing them at 1030 on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday mornings. We won't have our Friday or Monday story times anymore. And then Thursday after or evenings at 6.30. So we'll have four story times, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and another one on Thursday. Those will be starting June 1st outside on the front lawn of the library. But for now, we'll still be virtual for the rest of May. All right. Bye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a good weekend. Try iBox Books from the Eagle Public Library. iBox Books are animated pop-up books for young readers. The free iVox app is available for smartphones and tablets.